In this lesson, I'll be showing you how to use your random number generator in your calculator and online. We saw in the last video how long it took to use the random number table. And while the random number table is a tried and true way to get a random sample, it is a little time consuming and we don't always have a random number table with us. We can usually pretty much find a calculator or have a phone where we can access the internet. So um, I do want to show you how to do this on a TI-84 Plus, or you can also do it on a TI-83 or a TI-Inspire. The TI-Inspire is gonna be a little bit different, but there's plenty of YouTube videos to help you with that as you attempt it. Uh, this is a TI-84, these are the steps for it, but I am also going to show you. And another way to do it, as I mentioned, is to use the internet. If you go to Google and you search random number generator, it's gonna pop up very soon and it's right there. So you just put in your minimum, your maximum, we'll do a thousand, that's what we did in the last video. Hit generate, there's your first number. There's your second number. There's your third number. So you can see how really fast that is. Um, very efficient and you should probably have access to internet pretty much all the time. And then the other way is using the calculator and I have the steps here. So I'm gonna do an example. I'm gonna pull up, this calculator is called, it's an app, it's a free app. It is called Graph in Calc 83 and it pretty much does everything a handheld calculator does. I will say uh, your teacher, if it's a proctored test, you may not be able to use uh, this calculator because it's on your phone, you won't be able to use it on a test. So I would recommend buying an actual calculator, but in the meantime, if you can't, this does in a pinch. I use it all the time. Long story short, you'll go to math over on the left, go to probability up at the top, go over to probability. Number five says random integer. We're going to go from one to a thousand. And then I'm going to tell it with a comma how many numbers I want. Close the parentheses, enter. And then you can, um, should be able to scroll over. It's not letting me, might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Usually you can, there it goes. Scroll over and there's your 10 numbers. So fast, so simple, so modern. <laughs> so um, that's the steps, math, probability, random integer, minimum, maximum, how many you want. And so you could even do 50 or 100 or whatever. You can do however many you want. Very easy. So I have an example down here. I want you to try. You can either use your calculator if you have a calculator or you can use your browser. I'll also say that if you're doing a proctored test that you can't use your browser. So um, again, I recommend having an actual TI-84 for statistics. You're going to be using it all semester. And then when you're done with it, if you don't want it, you can sell it and never see it again. So pause it, try this one, get your numbers and come back. All right, for the sake of time, I skipped the table, but if you were to do the table, you would start, close your eyes, start randomly, and you would circle two digit numbers because the highest number is 80. And then you would find 20 numbers in between one and 80. And if you're using your calculator or the internet, uh, you should be able to get 20 numbers pretty quickly. In mine, I ended up with repeating numbers. So I had to do it again to um, get my remaining numbers. I might even could have done, let me see, second entry. I could have changed this to two because I was missing two numbers. And that would have given me just two instead of a whole extra 20. So um, if you have repeating numbers, don't write them twice. Just go ahead and find, like in my case, I had two that were repeating. Just find two more to complete your set. So that is how you find a set, a sample, truly random sample te with technology. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'd be happy to help. See you in the next one.